Well, the battle for control has been going on for years, you know. It's been going on, obviously, I'd say, not officially, but it's going on quite openly at the, at the beginning of the WISIS. You know, WISIS, the first, first phase of WISIS was in 2003. The second was 2005. And at that point, it was clear that there were basically two blocks in the world, United States and its followers, uh, and the rest of the world. And they were in opposition, but they could not really at this point formalize exactly on which, on which uh, topics they were really in opposition. They just didn't agree on many, many things like spam, like religion, like, uh, you know, like uh, porn, uh, like the single route and so on, or a lot of things. But it was not sufficiently, um, sufficiently explained. But now they've progressed into that and uh, they are less and less um, close to each other. They are more and more antagonistic. So what's going to happen, we're not sure. I think the, at the moment, the positions are still so strong and uh, they don't move, status quo. So uh, my personal feeling, which is not shared by everybody, is that there will be uh, split, splits. For example, China has already split from ICANN. They have their own internet. I think that's going to happen too in other countries, like uh, like uh, Russia, some Arabic countries, some part of India. I think they will gradually disconnect from the existing internet. They will they will not uh, disconnect entirely. They will keep using the the basic internet, but they will create their own internet separately because they have. They have languages are too, too, too different, and also the the constraints, the constraints imposed by the United States on the on the development and on the the standards of internet are for them are not appropriate. So they will have to you know, diverge from that too. You know. Now maybe in 20 years it will converge again, but uh, in the next five or 10 years I think it will diverge. <laughs>